Hey guys, uh, it's Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to embed your MailChimp sign up form onto your WordPress website. It's quite easy once you know how, but there's a few steps involved. So let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, how to basically get a form like this onto your website. This is my Win It WordPress website and this is a MailChimp form that I've embedded. Now, it won't look like this exactly after this um, video, but I do have four part videos um, teaching you basically how to customize your uh, form and how to make it look like this if you would so wish. Uh, as you can see, when you click on this, the name disappears and so you can fill in your own thing um, and you know I have the text set the way I want it, I have all the colours the way I want um, and in this video I'm just going to show you how to embed the basic form and then in the next one we'll be going through customizations and things. Um, so let's get started anyway with the basic embedding. What you want to do is you want to first of all log into your um, MailChimp dashboard and make sure you're logged into your WordPress dashboard as well. If you're not sure how to do this, I have videos about these. Um, but anyway, let's say you're logged into both of them. Um, first thing you want to do in MailChimp, you want to go to lists. And then once you're in lists and these come up, uh, let's say this is your list. Now I actually haven't even, um, my, my website is only being built at the moment. So as I can, you can see, um, I don't really have any subscribers, but you can do it regardless of whether you have subscribers or not. Um, if you haven't gotten any lists built, I ha do have other videos about this, so you can check them out. The links will be in the description. But um, basically, let's say you have a list built and you want to go to uh, sign up forms. So click this little drop down button and click sign up, sign up forms. So now, uh, what I would say is to go to embedded forms. You can check out the other ones. So they have pop ups and stuff. Um, the form builder is OK, but I think it's a bit excessive and it's a bit hard kind of to use. So I always go for embedded forms. So if you click select. And this basic form, um, you can choose between five different types. Um, the classic I find is the best. You, you know, you can go with super slim and it changes the way it looks and things. Um, so as you can see, if you wanted it, just a very, very basic form, you can go with super slim. But for now, I think we're just going to go with classic. So let's say this is our classic one. Now you can change the um, what's exactly is going to be in your um, in your form. If you wanted to, uh, let's say, show all fields or show only required fields, you can edit the required fields in the form builder. So if you wanted to open this in a new tab, you can then edit exactly what fields are going to be in here and whether they're required. And then, so let's say if you wanted to ask somebody their birthday or different things, I only need to ask them their first name and their email address, but if you wanted to ask them different things, you can do that. Um, you can change the text at the top. We can do that later anyway, but let's say if you wanted to say... Um, subscribe to our newsletter or whatever you wanted you can type it in here um you can show interest group fields if you wanted to um so that would mean like if you had a, a group of people that were interested in let's say running or a different group of people that were interested in the gym you might have uh make get them to click a button on what they were interested in you can do loads of different things you can uh get rid of the required field indicators whatever you want um and they, then you have your code down here. If you want, you can set a width, but we can do that later anyway um, in your WordPress dashboard. But for now, you're just going to copy this page, copy this code once you have everything set up that you like. So you're going to click copy. And you're just going to go to your WordPress dashboard and you're going to go to pages and then you're going to go to the page that you want to put your, um, your sign up form onto. So for me, it's my front page. I'm going to click edit. So now here we have my... Uh, front page. Basically, I'm using a plugin called WP Bakery. So yours may not look the same as me. So you can see here, my framework looks like this. And here is my WordPress uh, sign up form. So let's say I wanted to add a new one just underneath this. In WP Bakery, which is the uh, this plugin that I'm using, you can just click on that little plus. Uh, if you're using your own, the normal WordPress uh, text editor. I'll show you how to do that in two minutes. But for now, if you're using w WP Bakery, you just click on raw HTML and that will allow you to paste your HTML right in here. So let's just paste it in here. Paste and save changes. You can make a few, um, you know, different options if you wanted to change the padding and whatnot. But for now, I'll just save changes. And uh, if you were using the basic WordPress text editor and let's say you had a uh, your text block, which would just be a normal text here. You'd want to just go into text and then this is the code. So you could literally just paste your code right in here. 
um, and that would add a new form to your website and you can do all the customizations that I want to do from there um, but for now we'll just leave that out and save changes and we're going to just preview what our website's going to look like so there we have it um, our new form is in as you can see it doesn't look anything as nice as this but that's where the customizations are going to come in for now it's in there um, and it's going to be functioning so if people want to sign up they can put in their name and their email address and that's fine so I hope this helped guys and I'll see you in the next video uh, where we're going to be customizing our form so there you go I hope your uh, MailChimp form is embedded now it might look a bit ugly at the moment but if you follow on to my next uh, video uh, I'll show you a couple of the customizations that you can do with it and I have a couple of videos about this so I hope these help Guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the, co in the comments if there's any videos you'd like to see me do and of course don't forget about my WordPress website um, it'll basically just teach you everything you need to know about building your WordPress website and it'll make life an awful lot easier for you and um, the link is in the description if you'd like to check it out and thanks very much, I'll see you in the next video guys.